barbecue fam today we're doing up a stuffed acorn squash oh hell yeah you're gonna impress your friends at Thanksgiving and your family or at Christmas whatever you want to do this recipe this is a killer so go grab your cranberries and your sausage let's get this stuff Safety. Be careful when cutting squash. Always. So I like to put it into the center and smash it down in. That way you're not going to cut anything your digits off. <laughs> Let's scoop these guys out. Get a large spoon and uh, just scoop out the center here. Easy. And there you go. Because you cut the butts they'll set nice. We're gonna hit these with olive oil, little SPG, and then we're gonna cook them on a roasting pan at 400 for about a half an hour. Flip them, fill them up with that stuffing we just made, that sausage, spinach, dried cranberries, and chopped pecans. Oh hell yeah! So we're going to fire up the Weber 26 so we have plenty of space and we're going to get that up to about 400 degrees but before that we're going to start the charcoal lit in the center so it's just like a stove top. Pop your cast iron on, throw in some hot Italian sausage, crumble it all up nice, throw in a handful of spinach and then another handful of spinach, stir that all up and then you're going to throw in a handful of cranberries in a handful of chopped pecans or pecans if you want either one they're going to taste the same and then you can pull that off set it aside then you can just throw in a cookie sheet I'm using the dripping griddle from slow and sear it maximizes the space on the kettle. So once you get the acorn squash cleaned out, all you're gonna do is hit it up with a little bit of avocado oil or canola oil, cooking oil that you prefer. Just drizzle it all over. Hit it with your favorite SPG. I'm using some Cosmos SPG, my favorite. Shake it out nice and light. Don't be afraid if you overseason. This is going to be totally fine. Unless you fill the bowl up, then, then that could be bad. Now we're going to flip these over onto a roasting pan in the Weber Kettle 26. We're using that dripping griddle to maximize the space. And um, we're going to be doing that at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. And then we're going to pull them, flip them, and fill these up with that sausage spinach stuffing. Flip them. And they'll steam and they'll get nice and tender. So this acorn squash has been roasting for about a half an hour. It's time to pull it and stuff it. The nice thing about the dripping griddle, it's got some handles. So keep your gloves on. Flip these guys over. Clearly, these guys are tender. They smell amazing. That's SPG, I'm telling you what. That's the way to go on squash. That's what we're stuffing it with. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That looks like Christmas. As much as you can put in them. Once the acorn squash is stuffed and maxed out, we're going to put it back on the kettle for about 20 minutes at 350-ish and um, pull these and let them cool down before you dive in because they're going to be hot. 
Boom. That kettle is fired up. Rocking. Oh, hell yeah. The stuffed acorn squash is done and it smells amazing in here. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. You want to change up your Thanksgiving, do something new? Let's get this. I can't wait any longer. I've been digging in here, checking it out, and oh, I mean, all of the flavor combinations, it's still warm, but, oh, this, change up your holiday cooking, new stuff, stuff your acorn squash, oh hell yeah, whoo -wee. That there looks like an amazing bite. Oh, hell yeah. Let's dive in. I mean, come on. Man, that. Wow. So much flavor. If you like squash, this is definitely going to win the party for sure. Boring old Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners, that turkey that's nah, it is what it is. This is where it's at. Sausage, stuffed, acorn squash, whoo -wee. Fancy it up with some dried cranberries, some sliced up pecans, and some spinach in there. Oh, that's killer. SPG, some avocado oil, simple. Cook that. Bring that to the dinner table any night of the week in the fall, the winter, everybody's going to devour this. Oh, hell yeah. Man, that, I used to do acorn squash with butter and um, maple syrup. This is awesome. This is my new favorite way to do acorn squash. Oh, hell yeah. So good. Bring that to your family and friends. They're going to devour this. And uh, you're eating vegetables. Healthy. Hell yeah.